Hey guys, it's Rob, and thanks for tuning in. Well, I have some not-so-big news, kind of big news. It is almost our blog's one-year anniversary. It will be on September 24th. That is two Saturdays from now. Um, I know we're going to have like a little blog party, not really too sure what we're going to do on the blog yet. Maybe we'll do like a little video or a little live stream thing or post up something for sure. So it has definitely been a great year and, uh, feel free to wish us happy birthday here in this video or on the blog itself or the message board or wherever else that would be much appreciated. And it's always nice to hear from people. Um, there's a few uh, DVD releases, or I guess Blu-ray releases in particular, coming out over the next little while that I'm kind of interested in. Um, one in particular, of course, is the Star Wars trilogy, both of them, so you can get them as the episode 1 to 3 or 4 to 6, which is clearly a superior uh, movies, or you can get them as one big package all put together with things like Anakin on the front cover and something like that. So, um, yeah, those sh should be awesome. Um, Mostly just because I want to see them on Blu-ray and nice high def and everything and see what kind of extra features are maybe in it and what kind of touch-ups, if any, they did to the original film. I know they did a little bit. I don't know how much exactly was done. Yeah, the other one that I'm kind of debating about getting is the X-Men movie that came out, X-Men uh, First Class. Um, I just watched a little featurette about it, and I really liked um, something they were mentioning there, the opening credit scene and how they really tried to make it look 60s-ish. So they took some of the 60s James Bond intros and a few of the things and tried to give it that look and that feel, which I think really set the tone for what they were attempting to do in the film. And I know in my previous reviews I had said that I didn't feel it was particularly well done, the whole period thing. I felt it could have easily been today. But um, that did set a nice tone, I guess, and it did help get you into the mood. And it's something that I guess, not looking back on it, I, I did kind of enjoy, and I forgot to mention in the um, previous posts. Well, oh yes, and uh, X-Men, I think, is this Friday, and then Star Wars is the following Friday. I don't know why they're not doing them on Tuesday. It's kind of weird, but I think that's when they were released. Uh, should to check that sooner, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. All right, well, um, the summer is almost over. Most children are back to school. People are back to kind of the normal work routines and schedules and all that sort of thing. So I figured to kind of wrap it up, I would finally get to my uh, number one favorite superhero. And I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you all know what this is going to be. Uh, anyone who's ever watched this or knows me at all knows that uh, Thor is my favorite superhero. Uh, I've had people ask me why Thor exactly, and that's a, that's actually a, probably a pretty good question since I seem to be so into Thor. Well, obviously, um, the whole um, Norse mythology and uh, Viking culture and everything is very interesting with the gods and the pantheons and Asgard. Even the Vikings themselves are very fascinating. You know, the whole thing about combing your beards to look good and all that sort of stuff. And a lot of um, um, Vi Viking and Nordic, 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 I guess would be the right word, um, literature moved to Iceland where European monks um, actually wrote it down as prose. So some of the very first European prose we get is some old Nor um, Nordic stories, Viking stories that have been put down on paper. And they're really, really good reads and really interesting to me since I studied them at school some. So that um, one, it's one of the reasons why I like Thor so much. I mean, obviously he's big, he's strong, he's powerful. Um, the ability to command lightning and everything, that, that, that justice, that sort of stereotypical... Um, superhero kind of thing. I mean, the hammer is pretty sweet. I mean, normally when I play games, I'm a sword person, but I have to admit the hammer is is awesome, and the whole thing about being worthy. I mean, that's just a great lesson that Thor had to learn, that sort of the humility, um, humbling. I've always liked the costume, too. I'm a, I'm a fan of blue and red, and of course those are Thor's um, main two colors. Also, it's very interesting that he fights all these, as well as fighting, you know, your your superhero, your super villains, all that thing, all the mystical beasts and the space, um, dealing with dimensions and time. Those are really fascinating kind of things in different worlds and parallel universes and all those things that um, Thor gets involved in. Plus you have that really that, I mean, most, most superheroes have that alter ego, so they have that, in the case of Thor, Don Blake, you know, Bruce Wayne, Batman, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, whatever. But I'll, 
more than almost any other superhero, you have that sort of clash or that almost the, I guess, the ironic nature of Don Blake being a doctor and, you know, using a cane and, you know, Thor, who's that superpowered strong. I mean, I guess it's almost along the lines of Clark Kent and Superman. Um, and, of course, the, the whole clash of Thor liking a different woman than Don Blake. And you get that whole kind of dynamic thrown in there as well. Um, yeah, so, I mean, these are just some of the many reasons why I think I find Thor so interesting. So, yeah, Thor is my number one favorite superhero. I kind of, it comes as absolutely no surprise to everybody. Uh, last week I had given you my number one favorite supervillain, which was Magneto, and I left you with the question of what your favorite one was. So now I'll leave you with the question, the question of the week. What is your favorite superhero? Let us know in the comments or in the blog, the message board, all those kind of things. Give us a birthday wish, too. That would be awesome. And, um, yeah, so say we all.